Have you heard uh, Post Malone's new album? <laughs> yeah, I'm not. A, it's I, I appreciate the talent, but I'm <laughs> country. I'm so stuck in older country. I get you, but I get you. like early it's 90s. more twang. Put some more twang in it. See, maybe that's it. why I'm leaning more country nowadays is because it's more poppy more poppy <laughs> yeah, yeah a little bit you know what's sad is i have I been some a post- screamo country that'd be great <laughs> i love what the story you call that? scream you Sc- scrunchy <laughs> i was trying to think of like scrunchy? a farm animal an emu scream scream you i don't I, know i don't know i like the old country because they paint a story with words yeah, you know I what i mean it. that's why i love it yeah like i mean it's not a it's not always sad painting. it's that rolling right? thunder song kind of like a <laughs> It's kind of like a kindergartner's roll. water painting. But yeah, there's a picture there. <laughs> <laughs> Easy K-pop. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm proud of it. Black paint. My girl, in your right area. there. That's right. Oh man. <laughs> they, they, oh. Just let me talk. There it is. There, that one. <laughs> that one over there. That's my poster. <laughs> uh, the uh, what I was gonna say though is I've been such a huge fan of Post Malone for so long that I'm actually having a hard time liking the country, liking his country. Hmm. Hmm. And part of it, and maybe it's just because I'm such, I, I think I am an audiophile to a point because, like when I edit our videos and stuff, I've really become particular on musics and stuff like that to kind of set the tone. But back in like. When he first released a little teaser of a song between him and one other country artist, I can't even think of the song. Oh, Morgan Wallen. Mm. Oh yeah. Post Malone's voice was his raspy vibrato. I need some help. Or I had some help. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, he had that raspy vibrato that I love. And then they released the 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 album song, and it's gone. Mm. It's like a smooth no vibrato. I'm like. Where's Post Malone's voice? Took the character out of it. Yeah, so yeah. it just kind of ruined it. And then it, I don't know. I'm just having a. I'm Took having a hard time. The woodshed. But it's so funny that it's like you country lovers, um, hate it, and me I, not being a country guy, yeah. l- like it. Well, and here's the thing too: is I I just saw an interview with him the other day where he was talking about how when he, you know, in the last six to 10 months is the happiest he's ever been. And you could just see him like when he was talking about his depression and all the stuff and like, you know, basically crying when he woke up drinking, you know, writing music, drinking again, and then crying himself to sleep and just like this repetitive motion. And then ever since he's been dating this girl and married and had a kid, he's like, this is the happiest I've ever been in my life. That's awesome. He's like, I never wake up sad. Mm-hmm. And he's like, and I like, I have a true passion and a love for this music that I'm doing. And I'm like, okay, so is he sticking with country then? I don't know. But I mean, he's always kind of been doing what he wants. Sure. he's That's just what I've loved about him. And so I need to go. I told myself, I'm like, I need to go listen to it now with that mentality that this is something he's thoroughly enjoying. Mm. So I just, I, I miss, I wish they'd bring back that rough vibrato that I love so much. Anyway, <laughs> let me introduce the table real quick. Let me bring you in. If you can't tell today, he's going to be all over the table. All over the table. All over the... I don't know. Well, bud, kind of show you think this is. <laughs> well, it's a podcast. <laughs> I'm staying right here. <laughs> well, let me introduce the table. We got Cam. Hi. Chris. Hello. Tony. Hey. We're missing little Zach and uh, myself, Austin. And I think today we're just going to have some fun. Um, we did an In the News earlier tonight, but I feel like there's so much, so many topics that I have in my little list here that I think is just going to be fun. I think we'll just call this one an off the wall. Okay. Because it's I've like got some bands? questions. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> like an off the wall warp tour. Oh my gosh, we'll call this one a warp tour because now we can't. At the warp tour. Like and it. because you brought up a video game earlier, I think I know mm-hmm. where your answer is going to come with this. But I feel like this is a fun question for everyone to answer: is if you had an avatar-sized budget to adapt one video game into a movie. What game are you adapting? And so I feel like, but we can open it up to anything. It doesn't just have to be a video game because I know you're big into movies. So I just was thinking, I don't even know how big the budget is for Avatar. A lot says. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. You're welcome. (laughs) So much. (laughs) Tell us, Jamie. (laughs) <laughs> What's our budget here? <laughs> two billion or something, wasn't it? Was it two billion? I don't know. All I know is that two hundred thirty-seven million. Oh, 
Not but even the, close. But the second one was four hundred and sixty million. Oh, that was off. Almost a half. What is bit. the highest budgeted movie ever? That one. Waterworld. Yeah. Oh, it is. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, right. Way that of water. Had, that one had that one had a huge budget and it flopped. Dude, Waterworld is I think so the biggest there. flop ever, honestly. Waterworld? I love that movie. Money wise. Really? I really <laughs> think it was. I don't I think there's a new title. Paper. Uh, Borderlands did really poorly. Oh, dude, Borderlands did atrocious. Did it? Yeah. It looked so good from yeah. the previews. Like, I still want I mean, to see it. Here's the thing. Yeah, honestly, Jamie Lee Curtis and Kevin Hart in it. Honestly, seeing the cast, I was great. like, this isn't going to be that good. Uh-huh. Just because, and like, freaking, what, what's her name? Kate Blanchett. Kate Blanchett as the freaking haughty Lilith from the video game. Like, come on, ladies, what, almost 60? Honestly, you put Kate Blanchett and Kurt Jamie Lee in it, and yeah, it's going to flop. But yeah, it's I like, thought, like they, I like, thought. they tried you were defending her so hard there for a second. No, I wasn't. I was defending Kevin Hart. Oh, he's freaking right, right. hilarious. He is hilarious. And then Jack Black is the robot. Mm. Like, come on, those two guys were in Jumanji together. They were hilarious. Yeah, that's yeah, true. but it's again, it just goes to show, like you could tell by their casting that they didn't really care about the movie. Oh, I want to see that new Kevin yeah. Costner movie. Mm. Reagan? The, no. No, about America. No, the, I thought that's a series. Uh, another series. It's no, a it's, movie. Yeah, it's, it's a, a three movie part, yeah. series. Oh. Two of them are coming out this year. It's like his passion project. That's why yes. he stepped away from Yellowstone. Yeah, I want to see it. It's really? like a western. Yeah. yeah. Like a western. Western. Dude, Just that reminds me of Legend. Yellowstone. Have you seen that? With Tom Hardy where he plays the twins? Huh. Oh, yes. dude, that's what we got the name Reggie from. Oh, okay. Um, uh, it's the Cray Brothers based on a true story. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's a scene when they're in a bar and the rival gangs in this bar and stuff. And, and, uh, the one brother, he's kind of like batshit crazy. And he like, he like holds his pockets up like he's got guns. And the other guys, I can't remember. They don't have guns or something. He's like a shootout is an effing shootout like a Western. And he like, gets all like serious about it. Dude. It's like one of the best scenes in the movie. Cause then he leaves and the other twin is still there. And they're like, and they're like, your brother just left you hanging. And he's like, no, nah, he's just genuinely disappointed in you. <laughs> like, it's so great. I'll have to watch it. It's oh, so great. That's awesome. The, uh, I'm trying to think of a film that I would put half a billion first, into. First one that came to my mind is Gears of War. Yeah. Would that be cool? I think Gears cool. of War would be sweet. Be Gears of War would be pretty rad. Half a billion. I think Zelda would be cool. Dude, Zelda they're, would be way rad. They're yeah. working on one. Not live, live action. How much money do they have? Similar to Mario. <laughs> I think they have. I think with the success of Mario, they're like, oh. Well, okay. they're doing the whole Nintendo universe. Zelda would be cool. Yeah, it would be. It's supposed to lead into a Smash Bros. I think that'd be freaking sweet. How would you write a story on Smash Bros? Who knows? There's There's a tournament together in a yeah they all tournament. Mortal Smash. Kombat. So we're we're going down Mortal Kombat road essentially. Okay. Hmm. I mean, I think obviously Kirby's... God of War would be a phenomenal movie. Isn't Kirby the lead character in Smash Bros? No, I thought he was. I don't and know then he goes to save all the oh, characters. Maybe. He starts out. He... I don't remember the story oh, at all. Yeah, I think so. But yeah, yeah, they're supposed to be doing like a Star Fox. An and... actual Halo movie would be cool too. Like yeah, yeah, like a gen. Do you remember years ago they were saying they were going to do a Halo movie and Peter Jackson was supposed to be the director? Right, right. That That'd would be, be cool. That would be cool. Have it a little bit of Lord of the Rings vibes, but Halo. Like that'd be cool. I think Final Fantasy VII. Would you be had dope. me at Lord of the Rings, oh, five. <laughs> dude. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Yeah, if they did Assassin's it's Creed, but like better. <laughs> I know. That's true. I that's liked, true. I like that true. Assassin's Creed. Like, it's yes, not bad. It's kind of again going back to what we were saying. If you don't think of the game and just think of it as its own movie, it was great. But alongside of the game, yes. It wasn't that great. What did you guys think of Prince of Persia? Do you oh, I, yeah. love, that I movie. love that movie. That's, That's good. way good. Yeah. It was a fun movie. I actually just rewatched that the other day. I did love you really? it. Really? It was a fun movie. It's one I can keep coming back to. I like yeah. it. Yeah. Jake, Jake Gyllenhaal's a he's a stud though. <gasps> oh my I was goodness. Just saying the same thing. <sighs> I'm trying to think Gosh. of other games. Like, I know. I think uh, I, I oh mean, I, Horizon Zero Dawn. Did you ever play It'd Dishonored? Freaking awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did you ever play Dishonored? Oh, yeah. they're no, supposed to huh. be doing a... Speaking of Tom Hardy, they're supposed to be making a Splinter Cell movie. And oh, Tom, and Tom right. Hardy's Dude, supposed Splinter to be... Splinter Cell would be amazing. Tom Hardy would be dope. Yeah. 
Oh, that, that is would so be cool. good. I would have liked a bit. Like Grand Theft Uncharted Auto. was pretty. <laughs> it was okay, but I would have liked a better one. Which one? To Uncharted. Oh, I never played those ones. I liked those the movie. So that was good. Pal was World. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great, dude. No, I just thought it would <laughs> be way good. Oh, Castlevania, I think would be. Oh yeah, oh. they made an oh. they made an animated series. Did they? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. oh yeah, it's That's pretty bloody. That's brutal. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, did you guys ever play Titanfall? Yeah, I, I just bought it, that. That dude. I just got I got Titanfall two on Steam for like three bucks. Titanfall two, shout out Titanfall two, one of the best games I've ever played. That game's so fun. The campaign is incredible, but that that I think would be a really fun story. That'd be dope. I love just. It's got Mech a good story Warrior. to it. Heck yeah, dude! It's got a good story to it too. Oh, yeah. I hate playing games without a good story. I don't yeah. know why. Unless you're just playing. Like well, a the game has game. to the the game has to carry itself without a story to be like really good. Yeah. Like if the game like if it's just fun to play, then the story is, isn't necessary. But the best thing is when <sighs> you get those games that have like incredible stories and they're fun to play. Oh yeah, yeah. Not being a big gamer, there there has been a few games where I I have like you watch the story mode and you're actually in it and certain characters get killed off and you're like oh my gosh they killed him like yeah, yeah. and yeah you actually get, movie yeah yeah and I think a remake I know they already made the movie but I think Doom but doing it good oh, would be cool Doom Eternal take the rock out yeah pretty much yeah I haven't we're, seen it I don't know yours. How- <laughs> yeah i don't know how good it is i don't know it's it was Dude, that's clunky it was yeah. kind of a clunky movie it was one of the first well not one POV? of the first oh, there's some a scene it, yeah. when there was a pov oh, okay, okay. yeah but uh it was that's just a balls to the wall shoot them up game that game's kind of fun if you have like 30 minutes <laughs> i just like the pr- i just like the premise that your character like all these demons and yeah, devils dude. are afraid of you yeah well oh uh, yeah have you ever played it yeah, yeah, yeah. I grew have up. Have you played the that. no the newer one? Oh, uh, Doom Eternal. Is oh, is that I what it is? Play, yeah, no. I haven't played that one. It's fun. I don't think it's, I have. We can play together. It's fun. Dude, he's a the character like the main guy is a beast. Yeah. Just I, I mean, mean how you take an energy drink and stuff, you know, and you're like raging out. It's kind of fun. it's just. Oh, that reminds fun. me of uh, one I used to play on my original Xbox, Far Cry. Did you oh ever yeah, play Far Cry. Uh, yeah. yeah, Far Cry Instincts or something. That was oh. that one was cool. Where you would go into beast mode. Yeah, your Feral. Hand, yeah, your hands turn into like claws, and you like. Yeah, yeah, that was a cool one. Dude, I would watch. What Ghost about like of Diablo? What about like Diablo? Yeah. Diablo would be dope. Dude, Diablo would be fantastic. Um, and really retro I, witches and wizards type stuff. Oh, that would be awesome. Yep. Speak my language. Hey, didn't they make a Warcraft? Red film? Dead Redemption. They, they did. did. They did. Was it? Good? I liked it. I heard I it was one it. of those ones that kind of flopped on the like yeah. actual box office, but fan wise, it actually was popular. But yeah, I liked it. Starcraft. <laughs> That'd be dope, dude. Could you imagine the Protoss and the Zerg? Dude, that'd be freaking nuts. Well, not to mention that. Okay, oh. I don't know. Maybe an un- unpopular opinion. Maybe a popular one. Freaking Zerg Kerrigan is kind of hot. Dude, Zerg Kerrigan could get it. She's pretty freaking sexy. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. I never joined that Teenage one. hormones. Dude. Me on that one. Oh, that never one. That I one. saw one you had on your list. Bioshock would be crazy. Oh, Bioshock oh, would be yeah. nuts. Oh, yeah. But wait, wait. Let's venture down this road because you got the <laughs> let's, Protoss let's just carriers, imagine man. The Zerg well, okay. Queen. Oh, dude, you do it from a Marine's perspective. POV. You got the battle cruisers up top. You got the... The carriers coming in, Protoss are swarming the place. <laughs> oh, Zerg are popping up out of the ground. Oh, dude, that'd be a sick film. Dude, what's what's the game with Samus? Samus. Samus? Metroid Prime. Metroid Prime. Dude, that Didn't would they be come sick out with too. a film? I don't know. Didn't they have a Metroid um, film? No, they did not. Mega Man. They Samus. did have a Mega Man movie. Did they? I mean, mm-hmm. Mega Man was. Fun I think game. it was animated. But Mega Man was. You guys fun. aren't clearly hyped about the StarCraft idea. I'm, I'm telling you, pull it, pull it. Switch it. I've never, I've never played Throw it. Throw it up. I, I mean, don't know much about it. But look at her. Yeah, dude. Freaking got hot. She'd do some things. She got to those you. tentacles. That kind of looks like a mix of Medusa and the alien queen from so the movie she's Aliens. The Zer- she's yeah, a Zerg, dude. you said. Yeah. yeah. So well, she's a ghost, which is one of the ones that they Terran. can cloak themselves and snipe yeah, basically. Sniper Terran. Oh. And she's like got some telekinetic powers, and then she gets turned into a Zerg. 
but she's so powerful that she like becomes their queen. Oh, dude. Now I'm feeling it. Now dude, I'm so they like are a host. They were a human that gets turned into that. Yeah. So the Zerg can like, like inhabit humans and stuff like that. Kind of. Oh, Wait, right there. Th- that oh, middle left was a was a ghost. Oh, nope. I don't where, know where it went. Oh, it was down further. Yeah. Do, do, do. Right there. there. Yeah, that's a ghost. So that's eh. her when she was a ghost. Huh. And then she turned into that. Yeah, dude. Freaking, that would be so <laughs> she was, sick. She's a hattie. Oh, yeah, there we go. What? A, oh, man. That, Meh. Are we back to recording? We're back. Wow. Oh, sorry about that. I hit the wrong. I hit the kill switch. Got a little too <laughs> excited seeing the Zerg queen. <laughs> ah, man, I... I'm just getting flooded with emotion just thinking of how awesome that movie would be. Were you pretty into that game? Dude, I was way into that game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We used to have land parties and Warcraft stuff. Warcraft is cool. So fun. Not, I didn't get so much into StarCraft 2, but StarCraft 1, man, I played that so, so good. So, so did I growing up. So oh, much. Metal Gear Solid would be an incredible. I those. Do you incredible. watch the Twisted Metal series? I... <laughs> I haven't watched. I have it, but I haven't actually. I only watched like the first episode. Mm. I haven't watched it. Which, What'd you guys? What series? Twisted Metal. Oh, Do you remember that video? Yeah, game? that is a series. It's got Anthony so Starcraft. In it. Starcraft was like Command and Conquer style, right? Yeah. Okay. yeah. See, I played Command and Conquer. And Back I when RTSs Warcraft. were big. Yeah, you got Warcraft the... before it became Warcraft World. Dude, whatever. Warcraft like the RTS was so fun. Yeah. yeah. One, two, and three. Yeah. Freaking yeah. awesome. Yeah. And then Starcraft came, and that was my crack. Yep, I loved and StarCraft. And then my uh, Di- Diablo 2 was my cocaine. So it was crack and cocaine. <laughs> Dude, Diablo <laughs> would be great. Cool. Baldur's Gate would be really Baldur's good. Baldur's Gate would be so sick. Elder Scrolls. So Elder Scrolls. Elder Scrolls. many games I have not played. <laughs> like, I'm, You've been out of the I, game I for years. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> On to the next Like, question. I'm reaching way back. <laughs> Mario. <laughs> that would be. Okay, great. this one's kind of fun. Hang on. I just have to ask on the video games to movies. Did you guys like the Street Fighter movie with Van Damme? I thought it was fun. I don't know if I ever I mean, very it. silly and very 80s, but I thought it was fun. Uh, that's one of my favorites. Is it a I liked film? it. No. no. It came out in early 90s, I think. I think, I've think. Seen it. Okay, I Does that have Blanca it. in it? Yeah. Yeah. Does it? Who plays Dude, it? it's good. No! It's the guy who, uh, the guy, uh, oh, what was his name? I can't think of his name, but he was uh, Gomez Adams in the Adams Family movies. Okay, um, he's uh, Colonel or not Colonel? He's by M Bison. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then Van Dam is Colonel Guile. Mm-hmm. And then it's got the two brothers, uh, Ryu and Ken. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's got, got Cammy. It's not... got them all, but yeah, it's Chun it's Lee. fun. It's fun. Maybe I have seen that. Yeah, the Honda. Does that be Honda? I think so. I don't know. What? Saget. <laughs> What'd you call me? Saget. <laughs> <laughs> Bringing it back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll go that route. All right. Oh, next question. Right. Joe Rogan's new, su- new go special. Ahead. Joe Rogan's new no, special. Uh-uh. That's hilarious. You got to watch it. I heard it's yeah, good. Oh, you mean stand up? It. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. No. He I did a live on Netflix, like they did the roast of Tom Brady. Watch it; it's funny. Okay. You will get the reference. The roast of Tom Brady was hilarious. It was good. Um, okay, so here we go. You fight one fictional character, and if you win, you take all their money. Who are you fighting? You take all their money. All their one money. One fictional character. That's a head scratcher. Like you, like immediately you. But think I guess of, he's not fictional. If you think of Batman, you're like, man, but I'd get my butt kicked. I know it's like the more money. Wait, you have involved. to. Beat, oh, so I have to think about how I'm gonna beat Lex him Luther. too. Lex Luthor wasn't he like super strong? No, he's super smart. He has a suit. Uh, he wears a big suit. I mean, that's the same. He's as got Iron the Man. brain though. Kind of. Like he's. I you just he get him when really he doesn't have your smart brain can't stop a bullet. That's true. I just gotta hide. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Boom! I'm rich. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to, I had some time to think of this one. I was like, "Dude, I'd smack the shit out of Richie Rich." <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> obviously. Dude, that's great. <laughs> Duh. What are the movies? Naturally, my brain other... was going down like comic book type stuff. Right? So you're right. right. Yeah. yeah that's what other movies have? Child... Join the orphanage, boy. <laughs> <Child> kings. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking 
like Joffrey from Game of Thrones. I enjoy every uh, second of it. <laughs> dude, he oh man. He is such a phenomenal actor. Yeah. He I hate him with every bone in my body. I was about to say the Count of Monte Cristo, but he's one hell of a sword fighter. <laughs> Swordsman. He's a swordsman. That's a movie I need to watch. Dude, that movie is so good. So I, I remember uh, one person, I saw, I saw one comment. It was like uh, the the Hobbit. What's his name? Frodo Baggins. Baggins. Frodo Baggins. When he gets, does, don't they get the big old thing from Smaug? Or not Smaug. What's the, the yeah, Baggins Yeah, Smaug. 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 That's Bilbo, not Frodo. Bilbo, that's yeah. the one. Yep. Kill Bilbo. Harry Potter. Because you got to watch. I thought Harry Potter. Kick his trash. <laughs> it, Dude. Does he have a wand or no? Now what I'm done with him. Speaking, <laughs> speaking, <laughs> speaking of Joffrey, who's another character who did it so good that you hate him? Uh, oh, there's so many. Malf- Malfoy. Yeah, Malfoy was whatever. He's just annoying. Yeah, no, the lady, the lady teacher, them. Harry Potter, she oh, yeah, oh, okay. hated her. Oh, the lady in pink? Yes. yes. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Who yes. was that? Oh, she was evil. Uh, Something. Trunchbull. Gosh, we just watched this. No, that's, <laughs> she's, Trunchbull. She's a freak. Kill her, too. Yeah. She doesn't have any money. Now, the crazy religious lady in the mist. I haven't seen the mist. I've, I've heard I've, a lot I've about it from it. you, but yeah. I've never seen it. I've seen it, but it. it's been a really long time. The girl from Gone Girl. Oh my oh gosh. gosh! The uh, the weird. orphan in Orphan. Mm, I haven't seen it. Could kill her. The orphan in Annie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was this. Now we're just on to a killing spree. <laughs> we're here to try killing to figure spree. out who we could kill to get the most. I money. like Richie Rich. That's a pretty That's dang good pretty one. Solid. I was gonna say he's rich. He's easy to beat up. And yeah. there's multiple versions of him, so we can all take one. There you go, Mr. Burns. Yes. Gone. He's Smith fragile. Is. Take him out of the knee. Smith. All you gotta do is pour some water on him. Uh, it's an excellent. animation. Melts away. Mr. McAllister. <laughs> that guy's loaded. Taking the whole family to Paris and crap. Yeah, that's true. Who you, else? you don't know what that's from, do you? I do. Oh, okay. Home Alone. <laughs> yeah. I get it. I had to think about it, though. Yeah. I all love those movies. Man, they're, they're trying great. to do some more. <laughs> Who else is really rich? Ha, Mr. Krabs. How rich is he? Huh. I'd have some crab for dinner. Did you see that the sec- what the secret recipe is in the Krabby Patty? Huh. Crab meat. It's Isn't crab it? meat. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. Is that There's... why there's no other crabs in Bikini Bottom? Well, and uh, the what's the restaurant called? The Krusty Crab? The, mm-hmm. the, cr- the Bucket? No, uh, Chum no. Bucket Chum is bucket. the other guy. I think it's oh, the yeah, Krusty Crab, right? It, it's a crab trap. If you look at it. The restaurant that what? SpongeBob works in is a crab trap. So sneaky. And there's one episode where he's eating a Krabby Patty and he's like, oh, that's what I taste like. <laughs> really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow. So the secret recipe in a Krabby Patty is crabs. I mean, it makes sense. Krabby Patty. Yeah. It's right there, right in front of us the whole time. Never watched it. <sighs> Dang. I feel like SpongeBob was one of the last good cartoons. What do you mean? It's still going. Well, I mean, but like created. Oh yeah, like, yeah I don't I know. get you. I get you. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like you nailed it with Richie Rich. I yeah. feel like that's everyone else. I'm thinking of that's rich is powerful too. So it's a tough one. Oh, that duck. Oh, <laughs> Donald? No, the no. Scrooge. No. Scrooge. It's Scrooge. Is Scrooge, it Scrooge from Ducktales. Yeah. yeah. Is that his name? Yes, yeah, Scrooge McDuck. Okay, yeah, that one. Yeah, he's old. He'd be I'd easy have some to take duck out. for dinner, too. He's got a giant freaking... Ooh, I could cook you some duck. Dude, let's do it. Have, I'll have me some duck. That'd be you. easy. Yeah, baby. <laughs> huh. Okay, all right, all right. Let duck us know in the comments who you win. kill. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Ursula's parents from George of the Jungle. <laughs> Ursula. Both of them. The only Ursula I know. No, nah, her Bill dad's Herman. cool. The uh, Beverly Hillbillies. The he's a pushover for. Yeah, he's a pushover for sure. Dude, the freaking uh, the French king from Three Musketeers. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh yeah. That, no, that's, no, that's the that's the yeah. that's the guy. The yeah. girl's brother. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, the French king who yeah. like all of them. They all look like women. <laughs> yeah. All right, I got I got one that we can uh, debate on here. You ready? Okay. Are there more eyes or legs in the world? Oh, gosh. 
Same amount. <laughs> Think about it. Spiders. Spiders have eight legs. But oh. how many eyes do they have? Oh. Now but oh. fish have zero legs. And sometimes zero eyes. <laughs> what do you call fish with no eyes? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's better than the trash can joke. Hey, it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least I brought a joke. <laughs> Whether just, it be good or bad. I just remember you did. I just remembered one. <laughs> Give it to us. I did. About oh, that. That was the whole thing. So is there more <laughs> eyes or legs in the world? Let's hear it. Let's debate. What side are Centipedes, you on? Centipedes, legs. Centipedes, millipedes. But there's a lot of fish. Yeah, I think there's a you're lot right. of fish in the sea. Not as much. I would, I would say not legs. as much. They I would say, say like legs. 90% of the fish are gone. Big fish I'm are gonna gone. I'm going to say legs. No way. Because there's sea creatures with legs too. And deep, and deep have, sea creatures that have legs uh, and no eyes because they can't see anything. I feel like there's more creatures that have Octopus? more than two legs than there are that Squids? have more than two eyes. Squids? Say that again. There's more creatures that have more than two legs than there are that have more than two eyes. It's true. It's valid. Yeah. So legs. Legs is my vote. Legs. I don't know, man, but there's so many fish. I just like legs. <laughs> I mean, I like legs, too. <laughs> That's my thing. <laughs> now, people are more likely, like even human beings, I feel like you're more likely to lose an eye than a leg. Yeah, that's true. So I'm still, I'm sticking with legs. legs. We're all going with legs? Oh, yeah. Well, that wasn't much of a debate, now was it? <laughs> Too easy. Game over. Too I don't easy. know, man. Search out, search real quick for me how many fish are in the sea. <laughs> Who's gonna I don't know think that? That's gonna be a that's a debatable. Rough, there's gotta be some sort of rough estimate. But yeah, there are a lot of insects. Well, look at shrimp. 3.5 trillion. How many krill have legs? How many krill? 3.5 trillion? That's what it says. How many krill? There's 3.5 trillion in one mouthful for a whale. And they have tons of legs. Krill? <laughs> Krill. Wait, say that again. Krill, Krill have legs? Yeah. Oh, see, now if you you're going to get into microscopic kind of stuff, too, that all that all has they're legs. They're shrimp-like. Shrimp-like. Viruses, things like that, bugs yeah, like that, go. they have legs. But do they have eyes? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Zach? We need a devil's advocate over here. I feel like he would be on the, the complete opposite of us. Too bad he's already in bed. We could call him. <laughs> oh, he could have been our first call in. That See, there's funny. a krill. That's got a lot of legs. Most animals, including humans, mammals, birds, reptiles, and fish, have two eyes. Many insects, like flies, also have two eyes. Some animals, like spiders, have more than two eyes. Yes. Animals like mollusks and certain deep sea creatures ha may have eyes but no legs. Legs, humans and many animals have at least two. Insects typically, ha typically have six. Spiders have eight. Many animals have four legs, mo like most mammals. And some animals, like snakes and fish, have no legs. Estimation. Insects are the most abundant animals on Earth, and since they have more legs than eyes, six versus two, legs are more prevalent among them. However, given the massive number of insects and other legged creatures, the total number of legs might outnumber eyes. According to ChatGPT. <laughs> there, when you were just listing off things, I was like, oh, thanks, Kamala. <laughs> Unburdened. <laughs> Unburdened. <laughs> By That's, yesterday. Yes, tomorrow. What did she say? <laughs> the day. What might be unburdened by what has been burdened. What even does that mean? It hurts my head to try and think of what that means. It's real hard to dumb yourself down to understand. <laughs> Listen, Linda. I don't like her, but I'd probably sound like an idiot talking in front of people. I do. I know I do. You would probably yeah, but at least you're prepare. smart because you don't go in front of that many people to say things. Yeah. I mean, I'm, how I'm many awkward when I when like I we have we have nine thousand something subscribers on youtube oh yeah dude we're not... so close to 10 yeah. come on baby get it girl get it get it spread it we out gotta do something Send it to your special friends. when we hit 10 yeah let's do it okay i have a group question here but i kind of want to ask it when zach's here that's the that's the conundrum then he should have been here 
kidding. You can wait. I'll, I'll ask you guys the question, we'll, and we can decide if, if, because some but, some of these questions, I think you guys should stew on for a bit. But if you had the possibility to experience one thing with zero consequences, wait, start over. Be? Sorry, say it again. If you had the opportunity to experience one thing with zero consequences, mm. what would it be? Meth. <laughs> Meth. <laughs> Just kidding. Hey, it could be whatever you want. But here's the thing. Should we answer that this round or should we wait and answer it next round when Zach's with us? Because that's something you could think. Yeah, that's I, something you could ponder. On. I've got one. You've got one? Yeah. I'd like to take a life. <laughs> I'm kidding. Dude, I, I'd want to die but become back, like not have the consequence of dying. Like, just to see what happens after death? Just. Or, I don't know. Just to feel something. But what What if it hurt? That sounds like something. What if it hurt a lot? Like, what if it hurt more than you could ever imagine? Well, then the rest of your life's going to be easy because you went through the hardest thing. In but then life. you're going to be fearing death again. Would well, you? I'd make you'd sure. be over it. You'd be like, eh, it's not bad. You'd be like, hey, yeah, I did it once. I can do it again. Do you think it'd be like birth where you like... It's the hardest thing a woman does, and then afterward, they're like, oh, I can have a second. What if that's it? As a man, be able to give birth. No, nah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> All right, okay. Listen, no I interest. Didn't, I didn't <laughs> decide. <laughs> Let's answer this one next time, because I really want to stew on it for a bit and, and have Zach in on it, because I think he'd have a funny answer, too. I don't know. Visit on all the people you knew that passed away real quick. Come back. What would the consequence of that be? None. I mean, usually the consequence of death is you're no longer existing. Oh, that's what you mean by dying. You want to be able to visit. Okay, I see. I see now. I, I like, like going on that. If I could die to see what is going to happen to me after death, get a sneak peek of it, and then come back. I got to change my ways. Yeah. Oh, it was hot as shit down there. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. But... Tony, you're black. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm burnt to a crisp. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay, all right. I'm going to save that one for next time. So I want to think on that one more. Yeah, let's yeah. think on it and revisit it next round. Cause like that's... My brain goes to easy things that's like, oh, robbing a bank or something like... Well, Dude, but... a heist? I think that's like a, on, like a legitimate dope. heist, like Ocean's Eleven heist. Like a robbing heist a would casino. be dope. Being a dog fight. Be Would in a dog, a dog? What? No, like, oh, like, like an airplane. airplane? Yeah. Fight oh, just like a... dude. Yes. Okay. We're going to think on it. Let's think on it. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot. All right. Do, 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 do. Wow. I, uh, mind benders. What ahead, game man. show would you want to be on if you could be on a game show? Game show. <laughs> There's so many fun ones. Like How when you watch the game the show network. Right. Huh? I always default to price. Classic. Right. I know it's a classic. Physical one hundred. <laughs> really? I think it'd be dope. Especially if I were like in like super buff, I'd want to like Squid see. Game. I don't want to see. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> When's that second season coming out already? December, I think. Oh my gosh. Um. Oh, Legend of the Hidden Temple. <laughs> The floor, <laughs> the floor That's a show is lava. I never had to see, but I understand it now. It's the Nickelodeon show, right? Dude, that would be cool. That, too. Yeah. that is a fun. One. The yeah, floor the floor is, is lava. lava would be cool. <laughs> have you oh seen Awake, the game show Awake, where they have to stay up for twenty four hours straight <laughs> yes. counting quarters? No. So they they sounds, stay. Up. Well, they do a bunch of stuff, don't they? Well, yeah, but the 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 beginning part of it is they stay awake for twenty four hours counting quarters, and then they put in a guess on how many they counted. Then they go on to the actual game show and play different challenging games, still running on no sleep for the last 24 hours. And they have a bunch of trivia questions too. Like they got to do something and answer questions. Not necessarily. Like some of them are like balance a quarter on a nail head. Or oh, really? um, one of them is like pass a ball through a glass tube and you're holding one tube to another and you have to pass the ball through. Like a lot of it's like hand-eye coordination. Um, like one of them is like something drops and they have to catch it. 
but it's cool because it'll like pop up with like stats like the human brain on on no sleep or a human brain with a full night's sleep reacts this fast where on no sleep reacts this fast and it's giving you the stats of it and then after they complete the challenge um gosh i'm trying to remember so it's like an elimination type thing so each loser of each challenge goes home and then the winner at the end of it all uh, can now wager how close they were guessing the number of quarters they counted. And, and it's amazing how some of them are so off and some of them are really close. Really? But it's a fun one. It's on Netflix. It's called Awake. Okay. I wish they'd come out with more, but they only did the one season of it. Mm. But there was a, I was really into this show for like two se- two seasons and I cannot, for the life of me, think of it, the name of it, but I want to call it quarantine. It's not quarantine. And it's not isolation, but it's something along those lines. It's one of those words, but there, there's like eight or 10 contestants and they're all put into like a, a hexagonal room and you're competing against the other people in the other rooms, but you don't know when they give up. And the goal is, is to not be the first to give up on certain tasks. Oh, and so it's a very big mental game. And so you literally go until you're at your breaking point. And so, oh man, it's going to drive me nuts. I can't think of the name of it, but it was very intriguing to see the psychological side of it. That's cool. And, oh, man, I, I got to think They do it. that on Alone. Have you ever seen that? Alone? What's that? They, they send you out into the wilderness and you survive as long as you can. Oh, and that'd the, be last, the last one to give up wins. Really? But you have no idea... Like, you have no contact with anyone. You're by yourself, filming yourself with cameras that they give you. Dang. And you survive as long as you can. Like what if someone have, They have no idea when... It's just like they will. Just... You, you could be the last person going, and they well, just let you go. Holy crap. Wow. Chris is out there, like, years later. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'd like to see... I'd, I'd like to test myself and see. That would be interesting. Because I know... You ever heard of the Yeti? <laughs> <laughs> it's my cousin. <laughs> oh, he's not so bad. You come back with like a Canadian accent or something. You like Whose most? line is it anyway? Oh, <laughs> yes. dude, I would love that. That would be a fun one. I think I'd freeze. You'd have to have the original cast. Oh, 100%. Or I guess, I guess there's an original show even before the show that I know, right? I'm I thinking know. about the one with Drew Carey. And yeah, yeah. yeah. There, there was a one before them, though, right? No, Drew Carey. There might have been a British one or something like that. I think Drew Carey was the original, wasn't he? Okay. he, he oh, yeah, Drew Carey was the first. He's the one I remember as far one. back. And then there was know. Wayne Brady. Like So um, I would say Drew Carey, Wayne Brady, Ryan Styles, Styles, Styles and Colin... Farrell. Or Colin Mockery. 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 Those, those ones, and then the fourth guest was always the one that was kind of the... Always changed. It was. Yeah. I would like, want to be the fourth guest. Yeah, no, they dude, they were hilarious. Have you seen the one with so, Richard Simmons when they brought yeah. him? Yeah, <laughs> oh, dude, it's hilarious. Did I, did I tell you guys I went to that show? No, no way. Richard yeah, Simmons. They had it just down here in Salt Lake. Uh, oh, who's okay. live? Who's live anyway? They call it Who's Live. Oh, was they it? had the show down here in Salt Lake. Was it anything oh. like it? Yeah, it was, was pretty it? good. Yeah, yeah. The the bummer though is their odd. They kept their, they kept having audio issues oh yeah so, so it was like, it was a british television program from 88 to 99 and then oh, the man. american one from 98 to 2007 and mm-hmm. then revived in 2013 yeah i'm starting to get appreciation for british comedy they're, dude they're hilarious dude, yes. they're, they're pretty funny have you ever I seen never... the it crowd no <laughs> i've heard that's <laughs> good i haven't watched it's it though. fantastic being being even in apple stuff i feel like you would be able to relate to oh, a yeah. lot of it oh yeah um, so have you turned it off and on again? Yeah. Oh, what was I going to say? Game show. Oh, Family Feud. I feel like uh, has always oh, been a fun one. Dude, we should get the five of us to go. Well, dude, heck is yeah, with Steve Harvey. Five? Yeah, isn't it a team of five? I think so. Dude, I we feel like we would he, kill like, it. You know that they make, they now purposefully make oh, them stupid. Bait, yeah, oh, they yeah. bait those questions to be dirty. 100%. Oh, yeah. And then Steve always acts like it's a surprise. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Yeah. Like when he like walks. Across. He said, <laughs> "I don't <laughs> care. Just, it's still funny." I do. Oh, it's great. <laughs> yeah. There it's was one I just saw a clip recently, and it was like, "What does Santa? What? What are things that Santa rides or something like yep. that?" And the lady's like, "Mrs. Claus." <sighs> and it was number one. 
<laughs> of course it is. Could you imagine if it was the five of us versus our wives? We would oh. we would dominate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we would. It wouldn't even be fair. <laughs> uh, Lisa's into pop culture, though. That's true. That, that's that true. is true. But it's not necessarily pop culture. You're right. Survey it's says? Just, yeah, it's just... We've surveyed 100 people. Yeah, I'd but, come up with outrageous stuff, though. Mm-hmm. And you guys would be like, what? That's, what? that's what we would need, though. You just wouldn't be you in the speed round. You need the outrageous round. answers. We wouldn't put you in the speed round. Oh, I could do the speed round. <laughs> you just said you'd say the most random things. I would. You guys wouldn't say the same things I said. <laughs> yeah, but the first. speed round is okay, you want to be fair. accurate. Yeah. I'd be you want to get the highest point thing. Yeah. Right. right. So the most common. And then the second person gets so, the second highest. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, you go first. Somebody goes first, and then I just cover in the bases. I just get it. I don't know. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It'd be fun. All right. Anything else? Anything else you guys want to throw out? Survivor. What other questions you got? I always thought Survivor would be it. cool. Oh, yeah. But. Fear I Factor. Couldn't, I couldn't do the political. Oh, dude. Fear Factor. I think Fear Factor. I couldn't I do the gross never, stuff, though. I would never huh? do that. I couldn't do the gross stuff. I could do all the other stuff. I feel like I could do most but of it. But like the the bugs and the actually no the eating eating and live and... things that's where I would struggle. Yeah, that's where I that's would... what I'm saying. I'd do it. Gross do things it. is one thing, but live things that's, that's gross. If it's fighting my face as I'm trying to put it in my mouth, yeah, yeah, no, dude. There, I remember one of the very first times I watched Fear Factor. There was a scene where they had to, they were in a car and they had to floor it into this big old stack of boxes. And I'm like, yeah. where's the fear in that? Yeah, dude. Throw so me fun. in that car. You just I'd like, that all instant. right, here's what we need you. Oh, he's gone. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> he saw his opportunity and he went. I don't even think he's wearing a seatbelt. <laughs> I would do that in a heartbeat. Dude, that's like when it shows people in like those roll cages in a car. Yeah. It's like, dude, I'd do that in a heartbeat. I wouldn't even need the roll cage. <laughs> I'm going to land it. (laughs) Send it. (laughs) Oh, man. Oh, that would be so fun. I, I, the, the thing that would fumble me up the worst though would be heights. I mean, aside from eating live things, Mm. but having to be like really high up, that would, I would. I saw one where they had two cars chained, chained or like hung up with water uh, like pouring down on them, uh-huh. like rain style, but like pouring rain. They were like this, and they had to get out of the one car on top of it and then jump to the other car. And there was like three or four flags on each car. Oh, I remember that one. And they had to grab the flags. Yes. And so there was a couple of flags on the one car, then they had to jump across and get the other flags. And... Was it a they, time trial? Yeah. Yeah. So if they fell, they were done. And then um, to stop the clock, they had to get all the flags. Yes. It was the cars slowly going? No, the cars weren't moving. They were just oh. like this, but they were kind of at an angle. So you're jumping from the trunk to the hood, kind of at an angle. But they were wet. But they were wet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's pouring down. And, and they're like 50 feet in the air. And so you have the fear of the height. You have the slipperiness of the metal and everything. And you're trying to get these flags. And of course they're on like a harness, but I would I would not do good in that scenario. Yeah. I'll try it out. I think it'd be so much fun. <laughs> what are you thinking, Cam? You're just staring off in the distance. I could do it. <laughs> I feel like Cam's our new Zach on this one. I have good shoes. Off. I have good shoes. <laughs> I have good shoes. <laughs> you got good shoes? Anti slip. Grippy ones. Yeah, that would be Try to think of another show that would be a lot of fun. Mm. That was that grocery one. We have the oh cars. supermarket oh, sweep. Rush sweep. Or, or sweep. Yeah, supermarket that, sweep. I always yeah. wanted to go on that as a kid. That would be. Awesome. I always feel like they had really bad tactic. Oh yeah. yeah. You know what I mean. You had to go find the stuff with good resale value. <laughs> <laughs> Do they get to keep all of it? Yeah, dude. On a I total lot of turkeys. They keep whatever's in their carts. Total That's... off. No, I always thought it would be so much fun fun to play hide and go seek tag in rc willie yeah I feel oh like dude that'd be way fun that'd be so much that'd be fun a dope video too <laughs> like if you could 
I just picture, because it's like you picture a living room as a kid jumping over the couch, hiding behind the couch. You're running around. Like, it starts with hiding, right? But then when you find someone, you have to tag them, and they're jumping over the couch and everything in a house. Now you take that as an adult and then times it by an RC Willie store, and you're running through the electronics section, the kitchen section, the couches, the beds. Like, Dude, we should reach out to RC Willie see if we can do a Mentri video. That'd be dope. Dude, That's now, with it being the double-decker RC Willie, that'd be insane. Yeah, um, or that, like a hide-and-go-seek or something. That one game show where you basically play Keepy Uppy, but it's a super... Oh, dope. right. I've seen You're that. just running around. We could do that in RC Willie, too. You're running around in the living room, and you have to keep the balloon up. Oh, that'd be Dude. fun. Have you seen the extreme game of tag? Yes. I was just going to spring that yes. up. Dude, they're Those insane. Those people are crazy. Yeah. That should be in the Olympics. That, that, would that be cool should one. be in the Olympics. Yes. That'd actually be really cool. Yo, parkour. Dude, Ninja those guys. Warrior tag. I would get so pissed off because they'd be so good. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I would, It would be like reaching for air every time. I would miss them every time. And then I'd be tired by the time I got through like, the goals. <laughs> they're just mad. Those guys are so talented. How mm. many times do you think they smack their face on the poles? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Going to duck one. Corral tag. Yeah. That was fun. Corral tag was so fun. fun. We did do that. Gosh, we, we did it before man. it was cool. Look at that. Yeah, us. we did. Good old days. All right, I'm going to leave you guys on a few mind benders. You ready? Give us some mind benders. I'm so ready. Get the... Mind benders! See. That, that, yeah. That's what you want? Okay. We finally did it. I kept trying to lead you into it. <laughs> All right. Oops. <laughs> With Earth being the third planet from the sun, wouldn't that make every country a third world country? Ah. Uh, yes. <laughs> yep. Interesting. But there's tears. <laughs> Gosh, imagine being a third world country on a third world. <laughs> Don't know what that's like. <laughs> <laughs> if you think about it, nighttime is just one massive shadow. Mm -hmm. <gasps> it is. <gasps> Did you ever see <gasps> Orion in the dark? Uh -uh. No. No. Actually, that's usually the only time I see Orion. Right. I was thinking the same thing. But <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest. It was kind of dumb. But okay. I, I, I had high hopes. For oh, it. I know what you're talking about now. Where the kid's afraid of the dark, so dark ends up. He's like, "Let me show you around." And by the end of this, you're not going to be afraid of me anymore. Oh, okay. It's like as if dark is a person, person. and then that's even the, scarier. And then light is like the sun and stuff. And he's always chasing dark kind of thing, but he's the cool one because oh. everyone likes the light. Got you. But so it was a cool. Him, he's got to win him with his personality. Is yeah. what you're saying. It was a cool concept, but yeah, got the you. movie itself was weird. Got mm -hmm. you. Got you. This one actually blows my mind because I it's hard for me to comprehend and it really does hurt my brain. A telephone makes a sound travel. Sorry. A telephone makes sound travel faster than the speed of sound. What? It does because it uses light. Does it? I don't think it does. It doesn't doesn't use light. It uses radio waves, doesn't it? Like waves. No, I don't think so. I think it just uses electricity. Oh, well, electricity is fast. Light. It's not light. Electricity is light. <gasps> no, it's not. It creates light. It is, yeah. But it's also light. No, because... I think fiber optics were... I've been shocked well, by fiber. something. I didn't see no light. Like, think of Comcast Internet. They're not using They're not using light. Mm -mm. They're using electricity. Yeah. Yeah, but electricity and light. Not the same. They're kind of in the same realm. Not even. They are, too. They are not. They're related, at they're least. They're not. Cousins. Bro, what are you talking about? <laughs> I but mean, it's like you said, electricity produces light. If you're in the same area and you're talking to somebody on the phone, you always hear them talking before you hear it on the phone. So you're just out. It just extends the, the sound. I don't know, dude. It hurts my brain. I hate to admit it. Because you can talk I... to someone all the way across the world and it's instant. True. Like you're in the room with them. I hate yeah. to admit Satellites. it, but I've never really considered the, the fact limited, that it's right? like you're just putting numbers into a device that makes another device suddenly activate. Ring? Yeah. Like it is wild. It is a wild technology. Technology in itself is just crazy. Yeah, it's true. 
Jeez. I don't even I don't know like how to use one. it most of the time. All right, last one. Technically, lights and video games are using real electricity. Oh, I've seen that one. See? <gasps> electricity and light. It's the same thing. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. I'm done. I'm done with you. He's <laughs> gonna slap you. Thank you for coming to my <laughs> TED talk. <laughs> Hashtag for the podcast shall be light bulb. Okay. Oh, oh. Man. We hope you enjoyed this episode. We have missed Zach dearly. Uh, it always just feels so off when one of us is missing. So I hope they stop. I hope those episodes stop. Same. Tired of people not being here. Anyway, thanks so much for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you here next week. Love you guys. Arrivederci. Peterson. Ciao. I forgot my word. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for being part of this crowd. <laughs>